Hello, everybody, and welcome to Friday Deal of the Week. We're going on a little live. We're going actually we're going a little sooner today than we do most. Ryan has to jet out of here. He has a international event going on, and he's leaving. Ryan, how you doing, buddy? I'm doing all right. Yep, gonna go watch some soccer in Mexico. There you go. This weekend. So awesome, man. So today we have a, a fantastic deal going on. It's uh, under three hundred thousand in San Bernardino, and it's a rehabbed home. I know most of you think oh, that's crazy. There is nothing out there for under three hundred thousand, but we have one for you today. But before we do that. Absolutely. If you like what we're talking about, hit the subscribe button, you know, follow us as well. And then if you have any comments, hit us up on the comments. We'll answer all your, your, anything you have to ask, any questions, or just simply say, Hey, house heroes, how are you doing? So anyone out there looking for homes, hope you have a good weekend. That's exactly what you want to do. Just keep chugging away. I know the market's real hot and I know it can be frustrating out there, but keep getting out there and get your American dream. It's yours. Yep. That's it. And let's go to our first slide. Troy's favorite slide. <laughs> Which let's jump to it. Oh How my. many foreclosures? Drum roll, please. Uh, what was this? This is just a this is just a waterfall, right? Is. This is just a waterfall. It's like Walmart. Watch for falling prices, but this is for watch for falling foreclosures. Right. You know, everybody was saying, "Oh yeah, these forbearances. There's going to be all these foreclosures." You know, another number that dropped forbearances. I think the number was down 17. percent You know, month over month for uh, people exiting their forbearances. <laughs> they don't need them any longer. You know, and all those, you know, market crash bros out there. Oh my gosh, the market's going to crash, bro. Nope. Ain't happening. It's didn't you know, happen. It didn't happen. Mm -hmm. And we're just watching this continue on this steamroller. Inventory's low. Nobody's listing homes. You know, there's, we've, we've actually lost inventory, you know, throughout the year. I mean, you've got fires, you've got people who are now, nah. you know, they refinance. They're just going to age in place. You know, they don't, they're like, please kids don't send me to the nursing home. You <laughs> yeah. know, th like inventory that would naturally hit the market just isn't hitting the market. And there's just really no end sight to that. You know, they're building new homes, but the affordable homes, you know, they're, they're few and far between, you know, if you're looking at entry level homes, you know, you're looking at mid 400s right now in, you know, uh, San Marino, North Fontana area. And those are just getting gobbled up. You know, there's waiting lists for the phase releases and, you know, you're not going to be able to sign, find anything under 500,000 for new construction in that area, uh, here very shortly. So if you guys are kind of on that cusp, I would definitely get out there and look at some of those new homes. Um, and if you have questions on where they're at, let us know. We'll, we'll steer you in the right direction. You know, sure. you, you kind of scratch your head because, we have the highest gas tax. We have the highest, uh, we have the highest uh, sales tax in the nation. We have the highest tax, tax, tax. Oh, we, <laughs> we have tax on tax, and, and, and we don't even have enough housing it's for people. Tax on tax on tax. Right. We have no. We don't have enough housing for people. That's insane. And yep. then you know it's it's you know and I I have once in a while we hear this all the time. You know you know hey I'm gonna wait, and I'm saying wait and you know people say that all the time. I'm going to wait. I'm saying, well, you might want to wait in a different state because this state ain't waiting for anybody. It just keeps increasing in value and price and just getting in is absolutely the, the, the right step. So yep. here we go, Ryan. Ta tell us about this home. All right. So this home, we got three bedroom, one bath. Mm -hmm. uh, it's 900 square foot. What's the address? So, so address is 2486 Sepulveda, not in LA. In San Bernardino. San Bernardino. Uh, that would be a miracle if it was in LA. It would get bit up to 800,000 pretty fast there. But uh, anyways, lot's huge. It's uh, 8,250 square foot lot. Um, and what's awesome, it's good for home, first time home buyers. If you're looking for, you know, FHA, VA loan, uh, you know, they're, they're accepting FHA, VA offers. So fully remodeled inside, new flooring, new windows, new kitchen, new bathroom, laundry room, uh, you know, fresh paint inside and out. And, um, uh, yeah, it's just, it's, I like the backyard. It's got a lot of space. It needs a little TLC on the, the outside in the backyard. You know, that's the biggest thing is the, the curb appeal and the landscaping. But everything they've touched, I feel like they've done a pretty good job on. You know, roof looks serviceable. Should be able to, you know, no problem get it to your roof cert on something like that. And, you know, that's what FHA is looking for. So you got to remember, you know, if you're getting approved for an FHA loan, you've got to meet those minimum habitability requirements. And, you know, we have this conversation with buyers all the time. You can't go, you know, get something with broken windows, you know, a roof that's, you know, trashed, you know, doesn't have hot water, doesn't have heating, unless you flip it to a renovation mm -hmm. loan. And remember FHA does have renovation loans. So if you're, you're, you know, if you're getting striking out, you can't find, you know, 
the right neighborhood and area of the home you want with that, you know, turnkey kitchen and things like that, you know, there are options to get a renovation loan. So you just need to reach out to your lender. If you have questions, feel free to DM us, uh, you know, on what's a mortgage or on the house heroes or on Los Heroes de la Casa. Um, we'll definitely uh, get you that info. So well, a few things that just even looking at the first picture here, we're looking at brand new paint on the outside. Right. And then you're looking at the trim has been painted with the garage door. New windows. They paint, yeah. It looks like brand new windows and the porch has been painted as well. So, I mean, you already have that coat of paint and that's what you're talking about. FHA. It's very important to have those things already taken care of. Yes. Yeah, so you don't have that's the number one FHA. Paint. That is, I think compliance. that's the number one thing that gets called out on mm -hmm. older homes. You know, they're worried about, you know, health and safety items and lead based paints, a huge health and safety item. So that's one of the things they'll call out regularly. So it looks like it had either, you know, a swamp cooler in the back at one point in time, or it had some sort of, you know, central air back there. Uh, it definitely looks dated. I would definitely be making sure you get that, you know, home warranty, one-year home warranty. Uh, it says cooling, just window wall units. So, but it kind of looks like you had a squirrel cage style swamp cooler at one point in time. But this is where it's at. You know, you've got new white shaker cabinets i kind of like this you know they didn't put any door handles on their poles so you can go in and do your own you know style do you want the dark you know black the anodized bronze you know uh you know antique bronze you know the new stainless it looks super modern you got a blank slate here you know they've got your uh, micro hood so it's a microwave that also has the hood function for your you know your stove uh you know one of the things i it drives me crazy it's a pet peeve you spend all this money to do quartz and then they do an above mount sink so this here what you're seeing is an above mount sink and you can see the lip comes up and over it's because to install it's very simple you can do a very ugly rough cut of this quartz with just a handsaw and drop this thing in and you don't have to finish the edges yeah. of the quartz it's Silicone. you know you're saving maybe 100 150 bucks on that Whereas if you got the same quality sink and you mount it underneath, it looks clean. You cut the edges to go around the, the edge of the sink. And then when you're, you know, you're cooking and cleaning, making a mess, you can just wipe with a sponge right across that quartz and just, it falls right into the sink here. You got to make sure that, you know, you're maintaining that silicon around the lip and things, you know, naturally it's just kind of, they'll get stuck there and gummed. You know, for me, if you're doing a remodel, uh, I would definitely, do an undermount sink. That's like my number one gotta have for a hundred, 150 bucks. It just, it shows that you, you had the attention to detail. So mm -hmm. if you guys are out there looking too, and you see a rehab or a flip where you've got that undermount sink, you know, like it just keys to me like, Hey, they cared. Okay. They cared on that, you know? So those are some of the little things that I'll look for that really let me know, okay, what did they do on the rest of it? So uh, you know, I like the fact that they actually have an outlet for the fridge and the outlet section because Troy and I have sold some homes where yeah. it's a flip and there's no outlet for the stove or the fridge and we got to request it as a repair. Uh, but yeah, you know, nice glass windows here. You know, what type of floor do you think that is, Troy? Looks like a laminate at this angle yeah. with the shine. I mean, and they have it throughout. So it's it, so it might be L LTV since it's in the water area in the Great kitchen. point. Yeah. So I got to think it's, it's you, would you know, luxury vinyl tile it could be. And that is water resistant, especially. So I'm assuming they did the right thing and, and put LVT in, in the water area right there at yep. the kitchen. And that's one of the things I look for too is the material. So if you're running laminate uh, through the kitchen, the wet areas, the bathroom, you want to make sure it's, you know, waterproof or water resistant and, and pay attention. You know, if you guys are out there getting ready to do your own remodel, you know, one of the benefits of luxury vinyl plank, it's hundred percent waterproof. It's all vinyl. The original laminate, you know, you've got that press board and you got a very thin wear layer. And the second that water gets in those cracks in between your thing, it absorbs like a sponge mm -hmm. and you're done. You got to rip out all the floor or at least those pieces if you have extras. But uh, they've got AC now. So right, there's AC they, right they have, there. they, you know, they Area. marked it on here as window wall AC, but this is actually legit. This is a mini split system here. Right. So this head unit you see over here to the left of the window, that is... Uh, they actually have free on lines that come out the back end to that and they've got an external compressor and, and fan unit. And that to me, that's legit. You know, there's a couple thousand dollars, you know, you, you actually have to, to charge those systems with free on and things like that. So I like that. They didn't just stick in, you know, cut a hole and stick in a typical wall window AC unit, like your fraternity brothers put in <laughs> every room in their fraternity house well, back in college. <laughs> and the, the other, let's go back to that picture. Yeah, so the other it. thing, when you look at that is that, Obviously, when we're looking at pictures of homes, we just can't tell what the electrical system really is. 
But typically when you have the split system, you have to have upgraded electrical, at least a solid 100 amp panel, if not a, something that's higher, 125, 150, 200. So I know that at least they should have a, not an old beat up 50, you know, or a 50 year old panel that are 50 amps or 40 amps or whatever. So I, I kind of like that. I feel that this is going to have already a, a better panel, electric panel. Yep. And then remodel. So they had some designer wow. ideas Accent there. Wall. They Ax went with the Accent boom, closure. hex, hexagon <laughs> right at you. I feel like I'm getting ready to go warp speed here. So can I ask you a question, Ryan? We're, we've gone plaid. Yeah. yeah was, was that on sale at, at, it, uh, at, at Home Depot? Yeah, it had to be. It, it, it was. <laughs> We only have we only what, have ten square feet less. Perfect. What, That's all I needed. One what I like, wall. What I like the, the photographer did a fantastic uh, job. This is a wide angle lens because you see how it, it kind of it looks like it's bent on the top, like bends out. And then they had the mirror in there, so it looks like it's like a dual shower, but it's not a quite a dual shower. Yeah. So so the photography was fantastic on this particular picture. You know, and, and they put in the typical you know Glacier Bay. You know, looks like uh, you know new shower valve. And, and spout so you know it's serviceable gets you in there entry level you know that's what we're looking for we Actually, don't want to break the bank on this two hundred ninety nine thousand dollars. that's a fan that's fantastic that's yeah, great yeah I'm, I'm happy with that yeah. at that price point you know, they had the nice, looks like they got the trim down the side of the tile. It looks clean. You know, I, I this doesn't actually bu bug me at all. Uh, you know, when you're looking at it in real life, it, you know, when it's typical it's square, it doesn't look like these weird angles. Uh, I know this is, this is solid. You know, you put a nice shower curtain there and, and you're, you're good to go. So you got the original three panel doors. I like that style. I feel like it's timeless, classic. Uh, you've got central light. So that's another big thing. Huge, a lot of these older homes. Huge. Now I showed two or three. So I thought three condos last night, only one of them actually had uh, any sort of ceiling lighting in any of the rooms. You know, these things are 20 to 50 years old and they still haven't been upgraded with, with lighting to the center of the room. So that's a huge thing for me. I don't want to have to plug in a lamp somewhere and, and have mm -hmm. that switch plug be my only light. I want nice, you know, center lights and, and you've got it here. And the cool thing is, you know, you've got, you know, raised foundation and you've got an, an attic space. So anything you want to do, plumbing upgrades, electrical up, upgrades, it's easy to get access to. So I like that. But this kind of gives you a good idea of where the rooms are and stuff like that in relation to each other. There are the new windows, you know, neighborhood looks solid, you know, nice grass, you know, yeah, it's just, it's a, so, it's a solid home. I mean, and for $299,000. Yep. You got room here for your laundry. You know, I don't know exactly what room this is in. You know, the water heater straps, I'd like to be a little bit lower. And it looks like this one's kind of loose. And we got to make sure it's getting air from the outside. That's one of the things the inspector will call out. But that's easy enough to, uh, to service and stuff like that. Drip pan has to be going outside. Yep. So absolutely. That's, so yeah, I think good, good right, if, if, we look, if we look back at the the photo of the kitchen going to the out backyard, you'll see a door open. And this, I believe is a door that's open that Ooh, has call. it in there. Good call. And then outside, this is where you need the TLC. You know, you got like this overhang kind of looks like a carport, but this is in the back and this here, you know, I don't know if they had a pool here <laughs> or they had a donkey that went around in circles, you know, as a petting zoo or what, but yeah, it needs some TLC. You know, here's one of the panels. It looks like the original panels in here. That is the original and might panel. Be, and this might be a panel for the AC or something. You could disconnect. It's tough to tell. It does look like you've got galvanized plumbing down here, uh, the way the, the water's, mm -hmm. you know, all the fittings are coming in. But, but yeah, you've got a ton of room, you know. If you want to build a back house, you've got the room to do it. Right. You know, you want to have big get-togethers, whatever. You've got plenty of room to do it. That's... Looking yeah, at and, and, and again, on these homes that are raised foundations, what, what's really good about them is that if you want to upgrade the electrical, you want to add electrical, you want to upgrade the plumbing or even add plumbing, it's all done underneath the house. So there's a crawl space under there yeah. and it makes it so much easier and, and so much less expensive to have a, a professional go under there, take care of whatever you needed to add on, updated or upgraded and get it done. So that's that's a big plus. So overall, when I take a look at this home, yeah, it's solid. It's 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 completely rehab. If you're a first time home buyer in this area saying, "Hey, and even even somewhere anywhere in in the Inland Empire saying, "Hey, I'm interested in a 299,000 or I'm approved for about 300, 320." This is a very very hard find. I would be on this home. I would take a look at it. You know, cruise the area, see if that's actually something you would like as well as, "Hey, 
take it, take a look with your real estate agent, go in here and see if this is something you want, because I don't think you're going to find too many homes in the 200,000, the high twos or early threes that aren't going to be fifties beat up. Personally, I have not seen a whole lot of those. Yep. No, this is solid. Good, good find Troy. I love it. Uh, if you guys have any questions about this, anything else you guys are seeing out there looking for a deal in a certain area, please hit us up. Let us know if you got any questions. We're here for you. Uh, if you, you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. And if you got anybody that you think can benefit, please you know, uh, forward this to them so that they can check us out. We will be back live Tuesday where we're going to be covering one of the five things that you should be visually looking at when you're walking through houses. And that's plumbing. Just like we, from here, from this photo, we could spot that it had galvanized plumbing. We had, you know, some stuff we could see about the water heater and we knew there's going to be certain things that the inspector is going to call out. We know that based on, you know, some visual stuff and just opening those water mm. spigots, you know, how long, you know, uh, roughly you would need to, uh, take before you start budgeting in some plumbing upgrades and stuff like that in the house's future. There's just simple things walking through as you're looking at, you know, the layout and the, you know, how many bedrooms, baths and all that kind of stuff that you can see. So we'll be going over plumbing. One of those five things on Tuesday and then on Thursday, eight o'clock in Espanol. Luckily Roxy's feeling a lot better. She'll be back. She'll cover HVAC, which is uh, heating, uh, ventilation or vacuum and then uh, air conditioning and she'll be covering that along with plumbing as well. So uh, check us out there mm -hmm. and next Friday we will do another deal of the week along with a weekly market update. You got anything else for us, Troy? I think uh, everyone needs to be safe, have fun this weekend and enjoy the cool temperatures outside. Absolutely. Take care. Have fun, guys. Peace. God bless.